You can barely see over the mountain, right? You ready to go camping? <laughs> Guess what, guys? We're going camping. We're going camping. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff uh, to go through on well, if you, if today's up, episode yeah. of That Knife Show. We we told a few people we were going camping, and you know what? We got some great support. Su- su- support? Su- su- support. We got some great support. We a got little a little more stuff. than we could handle, but uh, we're going to try. We got a lot of stuff to cover in today's episode of That Knife Show. Let's water it up. Let's light it up. All right, so that knife show. Welcome back. Um, we've got a lot of stuff to cover today. First up, on knife news, we were just at Blade Show. You guys have already seen. I mean, we posted, you know, three days worth of content, and we're going to be splitting a lot of that up and, and giving you more in depth content from Blade Show. Um, how, how did you got, enjoy it? Uh, I had a blast. It was, uh, you know, I, I'll be honest. Um, our time spent there was not uh, an opportunity to really enjoy Blade Show as a normal person would walking through, getting to look at all the different things in all the different booths. Um, uh, we had a very tight schedule uh, and a lot of people we had to talk to. Um, it was a lot of work, but it was fun work. It was something that we, I mean, we really enjoyed bringing all of that stuff to you guys. Um, it was it was nice getting to meet the people behind all the blades we talk about yeah yeah uh, the especially time. the designers yeah uh, when you're talking about ethan becker richard yeah. rogers ken onion uh, how did that that surprised me if you guys got to watch the ken onion richard rogers yeah video. now that was that was probably one of the coolest interviews we did they they wanted to do we were gonna do them individually and yeah. then they were like you know what why don't we do this together um He was talking about, you know, people think I've copied him off of this. And what they don't realize is we're actually good buddies that collaborate and talk to each other all the time. And and with that, that's kind of how the knife community works. Because there's a lot of people out there that see our videos and try to compare it to other knife video channels and stuff. But the thing is, is, yes, we sell our stuff and other companies sell their stuff. But we've met some amazing people in this community, and even even being down there, we ran into Kurt from Blade HQ. Yep, great guy. The whole team down there uh, was was phenomenal um, to get to talk to, and um, so just shout a, out to you, Kurt. Great guy. Love your channel. We watch and you too. We're all knife knife enthusiasts. We're all in this together. I mean, we're uh, and we that, that kind of, of that kind of uh, is a little hint to what's to come from Case too. Um, and a uh, a new exclusive that we've got. It's it's called Better Together, and we're all better as a group together, especially coming out of this whole quarantine COVID thing. If if one of us can succeed, then all of us can succeed. It's not it's not a situation where you know we're not at war with anyone. This is, <laughs> and it brings you know to the the whole knife rights thing. Like we all fight the same exact battle we've with, got to stand together um so people like doug ritter are bringing us all together yeah. and, and that was another great video and one that if you haven't watched it you definitely need to go and check that out on our channel the interview that we did with doug ritter was really great and his team of people at knife rights are doing some incredible things for the knife community as far as laws goes and is concerned getting laws passed we just uh just a couple of months ago had the laws changed in ohio and as a result now we've got some really cool new stuff and that that brings us back to knife news um rick hinderer hinderer knives they've got some automatics coming out now that the knife laws have changed in ohio they can produce automatics so i think the first one that uh, he said they were going to be uh taking the xm18 turning that into an auto and he invited us to come up there and yeah. hang out with him. So that'll we're gonna we're gonna be uh, hopefully planning a trip very soon up to Ohio to uh, see him and LT Wright, uh, one of the nicest knife designers and it's knife too makers. Nice. 
He, he's phenomenal. <laughs> he just, gave us too much. Him and his wife are just wonderful human beings and great to talk to. And we're going to be dropping event. in. We got a case event coming up. We got a date for that, August 28th. That's happening. Um, so, yeah, case day. That's right. Case event. We've and got and we're going we're to be dropping some August 24th. Some commercial ish things for that to kind of give you an idea. And I think we might. Be having an online exclusive. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Stay tuned. It's going to be really cool. We probably should have said that. Great ideas. It's something to look for. Let's keep rolling right along. Uh, we've got a camping trip coming up, so that's something else. And we're going to be showing a bunch of products, and that's kind of what this whole episode is going to be geared towards: is camping, uh, bushcrafting, outdoorsy, more types of things. I know we're so, all over the place, but the last news drop we have Corbin coming up. Yes, Corbin Lovins, uh, former uh, Ballet Song, Ballet Song four-time. world champion, four time. Four time, from what I understand. Four if time. I'm lying, I made you look good at least. Um, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, Corbin's going to be coming to visit us uh, and showing off some of his uh, butterfly knife skills. Yeah, we're going to get him get him in a video, and I'm going to try to keep all my fingers. That is m- my main purpose: is to keep all my digits. Um, so we've got some new knives and new knife brands for us. Um, first being, we've got a ton of stuff on this table and there's our knife sniffer. All right. Uh, first we're going to show, and we've had a lot of people asking for these sniper blade works. Um, extremely popular, uh, very heavy duty, well-made knives. Now all five of these are, um, that we're going to show right now, uh, are available individually online. But they're also available as a set. So I'm going to actually do the biggest one first. The bad boy? Um, Yeah, we're going to go down in size. This thing is just massive. I wish they made it a little bit bigger. And (laughs) this one is called the Mamu Fix Blade. The the what? Mamu. Mamu? Or no, this is the Smatch It. (laughs) The Smatch It. You know, after looking at it, that's a pretty good name for it. A Smatch It, yeah. This is a smatch it. These are all 1095 carbon steel uh, for these bigger ones here. Who um, need, if and if you walked into, if you were breaking into someone's house and they, they pull out this smatch it on you, like, no, just shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> and so this one, so like I said before, all of these come as a set. These are also numbered. This is 148 of 175 right here. Um, the set is uh, 1370, so 1,370 dollars. Um, the the smatch it. I don't think we have any of the. Yeah, we do. It's the smatch it itself is 250, um, and it comes with the sheath uh, and the belt clip there. Um, massive sheath sheath for a math massive smatch it. Um, next. Uh, in line, we've got the, this is the Manu, um, and kind of a similar design, uh, just a lot smaller. It's got the finger chole right there. I like that thing. Uh, now, that's a that's a good size. I like that. Uh, again, 1095 carbon steel. You want to you take, that one's 148 of 325 right there. This you going to smell a, it? This would be a good Willet cut knife right that here. That would be a good Willet cut knife. So we're talking G10 handles, uh, blade thickness of uh, almost a quarter inch, 1095 steel, um, 11.68 inches overall, and 18.272 ounces. Again, comes with the sheath, the belt clip, um, and we've showed we've shown the belt clips like this before um, that latch right there, and then they're adjustable for the different size belt. Uh, Makes life a lot easier. I believe V Knives uses a very similar belt clip to that one right there. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of that one? Oh, man. Well, you know me. I'm not the most attracted to uh, bigger knives, but how much was this one? That one is 230 Yeah, this wouldn't be for me, but... Doesn't mean there's it's not out some, of your price range. It's out personally. of my price range, personally. Um, do I like it? Yeah, I, I like the way the handles on it. 
where you kind of have that clearance right here. Right. And I just, you know, from experience of all the stuff that we try to destroy, I know that this would be a great batoning knife. Oh, yeah. There's and, it's gonna be very and you sturdy. see how thin it gets down here. At, I know it's not going to show up on the screen as well, but the way it's it thins down there at the end makes it good for so many different things as well, as far as intricate cuts. Yeah, trimming trimming down you know tree bark and stuff like that on a on it. there's a lot you can do with this knife, and, and you can tell that they designed it that way. Right, that it was wasn't just made for one purpose. So. I think that's why you pay what you do on it. On top of that, I mean, holy moly, it's got so much steel in it that yeah. I mean, it, it's you a, could probably it's a beast. make like five little folders out yeah, of this. Yeah, at least it, it's a beast. Now, there's one more fixed blade in that set. Uh, this one is the Dashi fixed blade. This is a skeletonized fixed blade right here. Again, 1095 carbon steel. Uh, we're gonna look at that one up close. This one's coming in at 115. Uh, 7.5 two inches constructed uh, with a PVD finish and a blade thickness of 0.18 inches. Uh, it comes with the sheath. It weighs in at only 4.576 ounces. So that's a, a super light blade. And I want to point this out. Uh, this is not something we're seeing very often. Um, but that is a chisel grind right there on that blade. So you'll notice the bevel only on one side of the blade there so that is what's called a chisel grind and uh, you can see the bevel is only on that one side right there It'd be good for a lot of push cuts yeah one thing i've also noticed too with them is how much they design this based off how your hand grips something yeah yeah um i mean that's not a normal looking handle from for any means uh, but when you put it in your hand, it makes sense. Ergonomically, yeah, it, it feels really good and, way, and really natural, the way everything wraps around in there. And, I mean, with that being skeletonized, there's there's nothing saying you couldn't you could, wrap that you in could paracord. You could swell it up right there. And wrap it in paracord, and that way, as a survival knife, you got something that uh, is going to be multi-use. And it's, and it's honestly, if you're, you know, a bigger guy, that's, that's, that's a neck knife, too. <laughs> yeah, with the way everybody's been wearing neck knives lately, absolutely. So um, now, in addition to those three, there are two more in that set for thirteen seventy uh, that we also sell individually. Um, and that is going to be the first one. Will be this one here, um, and that is a absolute beast. Now, one thing I didn't notice looking at it from afar was that this is actually a Damascus blade. I didn't notice it either until you pointed it out to me. Um, and we'll look at that one up close right there. Uh, this thing is right, gorgeous. Hold it right there. You can, you can, you can see. see the Damascus on the grind right there. Yeah. This is called the uh, DMF, and this is the Damascus version. They also have an S30V version, both of them coming in at 450 um, again, this one's the Damascus version. That's the one that's coming in the set. Also have an S30V version. Um, it is stainless Damascus. Uh, blade thickness of 0.22 inches. It's a frame lock and uh, has G10 and titanium frame. So this is a G10 with titanium on the other side. Um, got the, uh, that looks like brass or bronze, bronze inlays right there uh, on the handle. And just gorgeous construction. Again, unconventional as far as uh, shape and design goes. But you put it in hand, and it just it it fits great. I I like it a lot. You've been eyeballing this one for about a month now. Yeah, we've been. I mean, every time we go by the counter, uh, I've been looking at it and and wanting to see it closer. And two things come to my mind when I see this. I think of one. For some reason, I, I could be saying the wrong snake, but like a king snake. And then I also think of Egyptian themed stuff. Okay. Uh, it just seems like a very, like, if a pharaoh was to have a modern Yeah, especially, folder, yeah, with the, with the bronze adornments there. It just has a very Egyptian feel to it. Yeah. So uh, if you're into collecting that kind of style of stuff, this, like, I feel like that would fit perfectly into that category. 
in this case, I almost feel like you're you're not only are you buying something that is heavy duty, but you're buying honestly kind of like a piece of artwork. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. And it's one of those things. It, it's all everything is subjective. We're we're talking about you know opinions, and they're not all the same. Uh, each person is looking for something different, and just because one person's opinion is oh, well, that's not for me. I wouldn't like that. Doesn't mean that that is the end-all, be-all. Doesn't mean that that's what everybody else should go off of. Uh, that's why we just show it to you. We're not trying to sell it. Um, we, we're just going to show it to you. We just pick out the cool stuff um, that we think is cool and well, what's and popular. And again, this is one of those that we've had a lot of people asking for, the Sniper Blade Work stuff. And this is the last knife in that set. And this one's serialized 148 of 400. Uh, this is the LPC frame lock. And we're going to take a look at this one up close. G10 handles there. S30V blade steel. Uh, coming in at a thickness of 0.2 inches. So almost a quarter of an inch. Just shy of a quarter inch. G10 and titanium frame with a tip-up pocket clip. It's 8.3 inches overall. Weighing in at 7.6 ounces. And... Uh, Look how that fits in your hand, though. Yeah. It, once again, everything they make is made to contour your hand yeah, perfectly. It it does. It, it, every every like change in the frame and everything is. It looks kind of got the goofy, finger choil, but it's yeah. it's designed for your hand versus yeah. just to look like a straight knife. Yeah. Now, next up, we have uh, the RMJ, and we've just started carrying this brand and. They're fantastic. I really like this one. And I can't stress enough just how lightweight these things are. And everything in their lineup is super lightweight. This is Nitro V Blade Steel. We're going to take a look it at that It almost one. feels like, and this is not knocking it, but it's as light as plastic almost. Yeah, almost. Like, it's, it's insanely lightweight. This one right here, and I want you to look at how big this blade is. This one right here is coming in at 5.2 ounces. Oh, oh, hold it right there. Look at, see how, look at up. you got it cut. Yeah. yeah. That looks good right there. It the looks line. really cool, doesn't it? So, I don't know if that was done at, like, for weight savings because this is so lightweight. Again, Nitro V Blade Steel. Uh, this is called the U-Cap. The RMJ Tactical U-Cap Black features a 3.9-inch Nitro V blade Bowie with a black finish and black G10 handles. Full tang fixed blade is 0.13 inches thick and 8.25 inches overall and weighs only 5.2 ounces coming with that Kydex sheath and the belt loops there. And it's fully adjustable so you can... You can carry this up and down traditionally, or you can scout carry this one. I'm loving that thing. That one's coming in at 270. And Nitro V is really all the rage, and we heard that from a lot of people it, it at Blade is, Show. I, don't a lot of people don't be surprised that. to see that kind of what was taking the place kind of a D2 a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it, it's like a, and this is just my personal opinion. This is what I would equate it to. It's it's like a D2, but on steroids therefore uh, and what i mean by that is it's a it, it's a d2 type of like tool steel ish but it's corrosion resistant so it's d2 with corrosion resistant properties and uh, a lot of people are going crazy over it um i'm doing some testing myself with it to see uh, how it performs for me personally uh we'll we'll look at that more in depth in a in a future video um but so far i'm really liking it I've, what I've do you do it. to it when it doesn't perform well you ground it <laughs> put it in timeout <laughs> it gets time out of my pocket um <laughs> you've done good today good job <laughs> so that is uh well actually no we've got one more new one on the counter that's not actually released yet but we're going to be showing it uh but that's going to be more in with our camping, camping stuff later camping picks yeah so i um, mean if you're still watching through this our camping yeah. picks also if you, if you hadn't noticed and hadn't paid attention yet we link all of the subjects into these videos at the bottom so yeah. you can like yeah. click on 1528 if you didn't want to hear about sniper blade works or yeah. so forth or so on but we hope you watch it all yeah 
You need to watch it all. So yes, we hope we can all have fun together. <laughs> Let's take a look at what's. Yeah, you never know what's going to be in the uh, in the credits that roll at the end. This one right here. Now we've gone over all the QSP new knives, um, not all of them, but them as a brand and all the new knives that we have from them. This is one of the newest ones we just got in, and this is from their high end line. Now th th that's the great thing about QSP, and and what I love about them is they're making really high quality stuff, but they're making it at different price points. This would be and, a six hundred dollar uh, knife made here. Yeah, made here. Um, this e one's easily coming in at two seventy nine ninety five. Red G10 and carbon fiber inlays in that uh, titanium handle right there. And uh, this is an M390 Gosh, blade. Look. Yeah, I mean, look at look at how that shines right there. And we're talking M390 blade steel, drop point blade with a satin finish, blade thickness of 0. 0.12 inches, ceramic ball bearing pivots. It is a frame lock. And uh, that that red G10 and carbon fiber grip inlay is just gorgeous right there. I mean, even as it catches the light right there, that's just unreal. Just fantastic. This one's coming in at 5.22 ounces. That is not a reversible pocket clip. And it's got the integrated lanyard loop right there. I like that. It keeps it clean. So it's just... Would I buy this one? No. Do I like it? Do I understand the materials in this and what it would be anywhere else yes because this is a quality knife i was talking to you earlier this is kind of like a almost feels like a mid-tech yeah in a yeah, way i mean it, it's and, and if you look at it the the lockup's great it's it's right where it needs to be right there like i said made a deal with the devil yeah so that one's nice like i said coming in 279.95 links in the description below next up is going to be the giant mouse ace clyde now, this is the black aluminum right here with red accents. We've also got, and Isaac just pulled it out right there, the red aluminum with black accents. Now, these are coming in uh, with N690 blade steel. Oh, you want to? Wow, I'm going to need to put some music in for that. <laughs> so... These are uh, both 3-inch N690 blade steel uh, with a thickness of 0.118 inches. So super thin, super slicey there. I like this. Thumb stud opening, black anodized and or red anodized aluminum uh, hardware there. They they flip open just, I mean, they bounce out there. That, yeah, no kidding. This one's coming in at 145. Really? Yeah. Okay. And I mean everything that Giant Mouse has has that we've looked at. The packaging is simple, but I've actually not got to really quality, check these out. The quality until, is until fantastic. Now, so, I'm seeing it. You're getting a real reaction right here because these are I love the way the handles feel. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that matte grip that too. satin finish, yeah. It's 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 Let me really see cool. That one. It's really cool. And we're really liking these things. It just flows too, like yeah. And and I like them honestly as a set, especially with um, the alternating accents. That's, and there. honestly, like you know me, like this is my size of knife too. Yeah. Like this is if you don't like big and bulky. Well, and that's that's really where you know they're coming in great with everything that they're making right now. They're the perfect size. Price. I like those. One forty five. 45. What was the steel on that one? N690. Bowler N690. Man, that's one to think about. Yeah. And that's a lot coming from me. Yeah. So we've got a couple of new offerings right here from uh, Concept and Kaiser, I believe. Front flipper? Wait, um, what is this? Ooh. Yeah, that's a front flipper from Concept. I think these are both actually from Concept. It's 35. Um, this one nice. is the Prickle. I've, I've, um, and I'm not talking about Isaac. Oh. Gosh, wait till we get to that one. So I'm, I'm seeing some of these. Look, I've I've had to step away for a couple of days, and I'm coming back, and I'm on this show, and he's 
showed us what we got new in and yeah this so is, this is fun <laughs> these are these are both from concept both s35 vn blades this is the prickle that i've got right here the prickle uh, the prickle and i'm mm-hmm. not talking about you um and so those are carbon fiber scales right there s35 vn blades both of these knives are coming in at 173.60 and this one's a fantastic front flipper uh, i like that thing right there it's a good size it's a good unobtrusive very classy looking carry right there let's take a look at this other one up close no you don't you don't want to let me hold it i really like this one (laughs) how much is this one 173.60 that one is called the pelican you don't even have this one pulled up are you sure that's the price we don't have them online yet that's how new they are we do not have these online yet Oh, so that's they, why this is complicated. They just right? came into the the store. This is another. This I would add this one to the Yojimbo Batman knife. Like, yeah. This is this goes in the Batman collection. This goes to the Batcave right yeah. here. God, I like that thing. God, that one is gorgeous right there. Again, S thirty five V and blade steel. Um, this one, the other one had the carbon fiber handles. This one, I believe, is titanium. I, I think that's what hurts a lot of these knives is people don't get to feel them. Yeah. If you are near behind our store, that's one thing that sets us apart. You can come in, you can smell them, you can. <laughs> <laughs> you can I feel like anything I say from this point on is going to just be bad, and he's going to throw in that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> But I love that blade shape, though. But, That's, I mean, can you play off what I'm saying? Though? Yeah, like, yeah, the way absolutely. These feel in hand versus just seeing them. Uh, now, what would you call that blade shape? Would you call that like a modified Tonto? I think so, um, because me there's of a, 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 it, it, and if it'll focus in right there, you can see the definite change in the uh, grind right there. To me, that's a modified Tonto. I, I could be wrong about that. I don't know. I'm sure what, someone will tell us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a max, maximum design. Why don't they get somebody on that show that knows what they're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got a couple more knives. Oh, these are exciting. These are super oh, you exciting. You kind of already got one too, didn't you? I've already got my own. You... <laughs> How did you already get it when we don't even have them up yet? You didn't tell me this part because we don't we don't have these online. I made a deal with the devil too. People have been asking about these like crazy yeah. in our comments yeah. too. Well, guess what? We listened. We got them. We got them. I'm sure they are. Demco. <laughs> we got those Demco AD twenty point fives. We've got it in the uh, shark's foot right there. Sharks don't have feet. We know that. We got it in the shark's foot and in the clip point. I mean, it's it's just so different. So probably not recommended, but it's this fine. is with uh, Andrew Demko's. Um, had you played with this lock style before he showed it to us? No, I had never seen it before because uh, besides the eighty twenty and the eighty twenty point five, th- these are the first knives to have it. This um, is like the next best thing for me since like discovering the axis lock. Yeah, they're very fidgety, a lot of fun to play with. Let's take a look at that uh, lock action up close. Well, first of all, you can even reverse flick these. Now, this is a lock back type design, uh, but it's Demko's proprietary design. He he is he has created this lock, and as far as I'm concerned, Demko is a genius when it comes to these lock designs. I like and the blade shape of yours better. This one's no different. See, I like the clip point. That's why I got the clip point. That's this one right here. This is mine. Love it. Yep. These are coming in at uh, 149.95. I think it's 95. 149. I need to show that again. So the way this lock operates, you can see the tab right there on the spine. You can see the tab where it's raised right there. And all you're going to do, it's going to pull back and up slightly. And then the blade just, the blade just (laughs) falls. I mean, that's fantastic action. You know, when we were at Blade Show, and we, we kind of even got caught behind the counter selling knives a lot, too. Yeah. Um, because it was just chaos everywhere there with so many people. But we had, a, I, I don't know about you, I had a handful of people come up to me saying, I need a knife that I can open and close one-handed. Yeah. 
What better knife than this right here? Uh, it's a- it's fantastic. Well, and it's got a lot of different opening uh, ways you can open it. So it's got the thumb studs, and that opens just fine. It's also got the thumb hole, or the you know you can use that as a reverse spidey flick, reverse flick hole. Then you can also just flick it out like an access lock. Did you just burp? I did. You I need some got, tums again. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> got heartburn really bad. So you can also do it like an access lock and just. And that's Flip what I was out. doing earlier. It, yeah, it's it's so loose. Mm-hmm. Like you can just. But at the same time, there's no play. There's no play in that at all. I think he made a deal with the devil on this lock. <laughs> uh, Everybody's dealing with the devil here. The man's lately. genius. The, uh, so that's coming in with Aus 10A steel, um, grivery handles. Um, got the lanyard tube in the back end back there. These things are insanely popular right now, and a lot of people looking to get them. So this is where you can get them right now. Uh, we I'm bought, excited we got them. I've, I've we heard bought a lot. bunch of them at Blade Show and uh, brought them back to the store, got them up, and uh, we're working out the details later. <laughs> so uh, those are going to be online. Check those out. You can get your 80-20.5s uh, right here. Now that is all the new products that we've got. Now we're moving on to our camping. I don't know if you guys are going to like this or not, but I wanted to do, since we're going camping, and since it's that season, it's that hiking, camping season, I wanted to do my three picks and your three picks for necessities for going out into the wilderness. <laughs> my first uh, my first pick is... Like... <laughs> so, my first pick is some way, some form or fashion... To start a fire. Now, if you've watched our, our videos from the uh, Randall's Adventure and Training, uh, we made fire. We made fire. Ooh, ha, ha. Eventually. We did it with <laughs> bow drill and hand drill. And I can tell you right now, like I said before, and I'll say it again, and this will always be my stance, is I will always have a way to make fire that does not require me to bow drill or hand drill. I can tell you that right now. And uh, can so we get the flamethrower. That is something. <laughs> I'm not carrying a flamethrower. I'm hiking taking, and camping. I'm taking it. So with us. Here's one of the one of the many things right here. Um, we've got waterproof safety matches. Uh, that's one thing that you can do. You can take a big lighter. You know, I've never I've never used waterproof. Uh, matches. Matches. Can we try one out right now? We ain't got no sprinklers up here. Ladder up. Well, that well, was that easy. That was easy. Holy <laughs> yeah, crap. no kidding. Uh, so there we go. I right love there. The way it smells. Yeah. I, I used to always light one of these after I took a big dookie in the bathroom. <laughs> so that's one of the Did things right there. <laughs> There's. It's still on fire. It's fine. That's one of the things, and and it doesn't matter. Like it can be waterproof matches. It can be a fire starter like this right here from. Uh, oh gosh. Oh, speaking of that, Black Rifle Coffee. We have it now. Yes, we have Black Rifle Coffee and all their shirts and hats. And they got some really cool stuff. Like um, this is another one though uh, from Wazoo. From Wazoo, the guys at Wazoo, they're great. Shout out to Dustin, great dude. Um, so you can see the sparks right there from that. That's another really great option because again. High speed, low drag, slips right on as a necklace, and you don't have to pack that in anything. Now, this is another thing, and uh, we're going to be carrying um, this stuff very soon in the store. But we just had the guys from uh, shout out to Jason, Jason from, from, Hunt uh, from Campcraft, and uh, Jamie. They were really Burnley. nice people. Yeah, uh, as uh, where phenomenal I'm from, guys. They're good people. Yeah. Good people. And uh, a lot of what they specialize in is uh, wax canvas bags, really old school um, and, and utilitarian uh, type stuff. But this is their uh, fire kit right here. And we're going to be testing this out in the field. And we'll we're have not a video get into, coming out showing gonna have everything a, yeah, in this bag. Yeah. We're not going to get into all that right now because there's a lot in there. And this episode's already nine long different, enough. Nine but, different ways to make a fire in yeah, here. Yeah, there's, there's a ton of different ways to make a fire. And you've got everything you need. If you can't make a fire with this... There's something wrong, and you need um, help. Really neat. We so, we don't have this on our website yet. It, it's coming soon. It's coming. Yeah, it's good stuff. I think at the price point that we've seen. Yeah, 
really great product. You guys are going to be really excited about that. It, so it's in my price range. Let me say that, and I will be having one of these. So. Yeah, yeah. So Let's that's my first pick: is some way to make a fire. What's your first pick? Uh, I'll just go with the cheaper end. Uh, one thing I noticed was very important from the Randall's Venture Training uh, was having paracord. So anytime I go out now, I want to make sure I have a good set of paracord yeah. to go with me. We we have this uh, Five Star Gear brand that I believe we also have online for the price you get. Hundred many, foot. I think hundred hundred feet for eight dollars, and that goes a really long way. Yeah, I mean that's a lot of paracord, and when you uh, so. You've got all the strands of cordage inside that you can use and pull it out and still use the outer shell. You can use this stuff to wrap um, handles with. And that's why I prefer uh, it over the straps, honestly, yeah. because you can do that. Because yeah. when I was making my choice, I was thinking, having that in mind, knowing I could The mule take, tape stuff, yeah. Uh, I just figured for multi-purpose, this was the best way to go. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, there's not much more to say. Everybody knows what paracord is, so... Right. There's that. My next choice is going to be some type of knife. My first choice typically is a Swiss Army knife. This is my personal huntsman. The Dutch Bushcraft knife. DBK, yeah. DBK. We I don't I highly doubt they watch our channel. We are not that big yet. I said, yeah, we're trying to get there. We're getting there. But they, they have a great video about getting lost in the woods with one of these. Yeah. And they they beat the hell out of this Oh, thing. yeah. Well, and uh, if you watched our video from Randall's Adventure and Training, I use this particular one quite a bit. And this one's going to get a lot of the jobs done that you need. It's got the two blades. This is the Huntsman. It, and one thing that I love having is the compact saw there. That's going to get a lot of work done. It's got the scissors. It's got the can and bottle opener. It's got the corkscrew. I don't know that I'm going to need the corkscrew that much in the wilderness opening a bottle of wine, but I've got it if I need it. Got the tweezers, toothpick, all, and the hook there as well. So that's going to tick a lot of boxes for me and, and get a lot of the stuff done that I need to get done um, and be a very useful tool uh, in the wilderness. Now, if, you, if you're if you out there, one thing I picked because... Once again, we, we learned so much from the, the Randall's Adventure Training, and I saw how other people, it's always better to work smarter and not harder, and I found that these pocket saws were the best way for that. Yeah. These things, we, there's there's so many different versions of a pocket saw you can yeah. buy, so many different brands. Right now, this is one of our better selling ones in our store, and also one of the few that we still had in stock because they sell so much. Yeah. Um, but this Kershaw one, it folds up. It's super light. Have you felt it? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's very lightweight. Um, and I like the rubberized handle. Uh, it's very convenient. Blade locks in place really nice. Um, and it's got the lock right there. Just hit the button. Fold it right up. You spotty flick that one? Uh, no, I'm <laughs> not going to spotty flick this thing. Um, but yeah, that's a, a super handy tool. Doesn't take up a lot of space and it's very lightweight. My third pick is some way to, uh, gather, process, and keep water and or food. And, uh, one of my favorites, uh, and, and one of the best things that I've found, um, uh, we carry this, uh, line of, uh, Dave Canterbury stuff. This is the Pathfinder. This is a great choice, by the way. I feel like you have and, to have uh, this to go... Camping, uh, yeah. Like if you're going to, play. I I love this set. I just I I don't have mine here, uh, so I picked this one up off the shelf. But um, this is a great great set. The Pathfinder series here. You can cook in this. It all like combines together and makes a great package. And then at the same time, you can also uh, make your sticks and hang this over your fire and cook inside this you can keep water in this um it's got measurements already like made into i'm gonna see if we can there they are you can see them right there on the inside uh of that cup right there um so you've got measurements there again a great way to gather store and process water, whether you need to boil it to make sure you've got um, all the impurities out of it. But this is a great set, and this is what I picked. This one's coming in at $40, and it's a it's a great set 
with these uh, with the camp craft stuff that we've got coming in, there are specific bags they have made to yes. fit a so lot of these. A lot of a lot of those new uh, the the new camp craft outdoors uh, uh, wax canvas bags are made so that they uh, integrate perfectly with the uh, Dave Canterbury stuff uh, and that Pathfinder series of uh, bushcrafting. So, what's your third? I went with a flashlight because, well, you know. You kind of need one when you're out there, especially in the dark, and you never know if there's a a, a bar or a Sasquatch or a Sasquatch. Especially if you're up in uh, Northern California, that oh yeah, that area up there. Well, we're where we're going. It's been a uh, they back back. We're going to my hometown, back to my neck of the woods to right. go camping, and uh, we call them a skunk ape. A skunk ape. A skunk ape. We. <laughs> I, I feel like every little town has had a, a skunk ape, Sasquatch, Bigfoot scare at one point in the past 20 years. It's good stuff. But this was, for, for what, we, we've looked at a lot of light brands here lately. Yeah. And we've both decided that Olight is awesome. It is great. We did a cave video with it. Yeah. I'm not knocking on them at all. I mean, I carry Olight with me every day on my keychain. But you know me, I'm always price first. And Phoenix is such a great brand that has a good yeah. quality um, and in, in a good price range. For the feature set and the price point, it, it's it's hard to beat, and they, they do a great job. And I went with the Phoenix, what model was that? The Phoenix uh, E28R. The uh, Phoenix E28R. I believe it comes in at 1,200 lumens. It's the USB-C chargeable, 18650 battery. Um, I actually bought this one myself today uh, because i've been wanting one and i went with i'm, correct, I'm sorry it's actually 1500 lumens comes with a limited lifetime warranty five-year replacement free replacement run run time is on the turbo <laughs> is uh so, something happened <laughs> i just turned it on <laughs> oh did you get him <laughs> oh, i was wondering why he was stumbling back there so turbo mode the brightest one yeah how, how long do you think that would last for? I'm going to say probably seven minutes. Try two hours and five minutes. Two hours and five minutes on turbo mode, and that's that it. That's at 1,500 lumens. That's at 1,500 lumens. That's insane. And this and this one, did it not come in at 65 or $70? Yeah, it was 65 65 dollars 64 95 You're not yeah. going to find 1,500 lumens for that price. No. That's that's a that's a great deal. And on Eco, seventy three hours. That's crazy. Distance on on Turbo is two hundred meters. You'll yeah. be able to see a bar from very far away. Bar from very far. I've, bar from if, far. If you ain't watched David Crockett on a, <laughs> <laughs> the whole David Crockett movie, <laughs> so um, he's grinning them to death. Also. <laughs> We're going to be demoing some other products while we're out there doing some product demonstration, showing the benefits that they have when camping, when doing bushcrafting, that kind of thing, uh, outdoor work. We've also going to be showing off some of these sleeping bags from UST. Ready Wise um, Meals. That's our two day pack right there. So, in this pack, we've got, uh, I believe, several of these but we've got the appalachian apple cinnamon cereal we've got the sunrise strawberry granola crunch we've got the golden fields mac and cheese we've got the tree line teriyaki chicken and rice the still lake lasagna with sausage the trailhead noodles and beef and the simple kitchen sliced bananas so we've got uh, several different meals in there that we're going to be uh that we're going to be cooking, making, taste testing. Air this mattress. is going to be our air mattress here that we're going to test out, see how that does, um, and see if it uh, actually helps my back pain. This is our two-person tent. Now, look at how compact that is. That is a two-person tent right there. Uh, the last few things I just wanted to show it off is some more Camp Craft stuff. They really do make a bag for everything. Yeah. We have a video on this. That's why I'm not really talking about it much. Yeah, so, we we just did a video today with we're just uh, you some of the stuff we're with Jason take. Hunt from Camp Craft. And then this one. This one's really cool. So we're going to show this off and how it works real quick. This is one of the new axes from Holtzbrook uh, that we're going to be uh, showing off. This one's not actually out yet. This is the first one that anyone has ever seen. So this is coming in from Sweden. That is Alabama Hickory. 
Now, the way this works is you're going to put the handle right here, and this will this will actually hold a full-size axe as well. But the handle slides right down in there. This comes over and wraps up in the head. Now, in addition to that, inside the pouch, what holds that rigid and steady, you can pack up an entire buck saw. So the buck saw, and, and, and you'll see this on the video that we made, the buck saw that uh, I made at uh, Randall's Adventure and Training actually fits down in this whole thing uh, and makes it really compact. And then it's made to be carried over the shoulder with the sling right there, with the axe head down. Um, super lightweight, super compact, and it keeps everything right there. Uh, very handy and uh, easy to get to. We're also going to be demoing these Leatherman shout signals. Shout out to Martin. Um, shout out to Martin from Leatherman. Uh, he uh, he wanted us to demo these Leathermans, and we just did a video with him. So we're going to demo these two Leatherman signals right here, uh, the aqua and the blue right there. Absolutely love these things, and stay tuned for more coming from Leatherman. And these also, so a really cool thing about these is they tick the box for a fire starter and what I was talking about earlier because uh, you've got a ferro rod right there. Um, you've got a striker right there. So these tick that box and, and make it so that uh, you've got a fire starter and a multi-tool right there in with a knife. So that actually checks two of my boxes that I made of, uh, of a two box check. what I was looking for. Uh, so these are really cool. We're going to be demoing those and stay tuned for more from Leatherman coming up. Uh, we've got the bond tool coming out and they've got something else coming up, uh, later on this year that we can't talk about just yet, but it's on its way. What's in your pocket? What's in my pocket? Uh, what's in Greg's pocket? Well, I want to know what's in Greg's what's pocket. What's in Greg's pocket? Oh, he's got that. <laughs> the 511. Oh, yeah, that 511 S30V. We don't really carry these anymore, but the, uh. For the blade still that it came with. It was that's a, a that's a great quality right there. Oh yeah, and that's the clean cut. Yep. The Rough Rider clean cut right there. Greg always has a, a good a good Rough Rider on him at yeah. all times. I've got my A D twenty point five that I just got yesterday. And I got my blade show exclusive Microtech. Yeah, yep. So uh, this is the Microtech Ultratech D E. Yep. Um, I would have never bought this, but it was such a good deal at Blade Show. I, I know some of you guys asked me to pick you one up, but the line was really big, and I was only allowed to get one, so I'm yep. sorry. But there we go. This is, the, this is now my biggest knife purchase, kind of. Wow. Sell out. <laughs> I don't know. It's so, so fun. So... Folks, we've had a blast chatting with you in the comments down below. We're looking forward to our camping video and for and all thank, that. Thank you for the support. Our growth here lately has been so tremendous, so great. And that's all thanks to you And guys. we couldn't do it without yeah. you. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Just to kind of, for people who've waited this long, I'm going to go ahead and tease it. We've been trying to, we've had, we've had struggles with Facebook because a lot of the things we post, if you guys aren't aware of this, it gets put to the bottom of your time, uh, timeline. It's, it's, yeah. it's not priority when we're a business, especially for the business that we are. Well, and especially because the minds and the powers that be at, at uh, social media companies like Facebook, um, they they don't like what we do. They don't like the stuff that we have. And you know what? I say screw that. Yeah. And our boss, our COO, you can got everybody. If you if you want to be a part of this, and we'll have an official video for this. But thank Josh, Josh Hill. Yeah. Our new COO. Shout shout back to. Knife Live from way back. Yeah, yeah if, you, if, you, if you a real OG watcher, he is. Uh, he's from Knife Live. Yeah. So he has given us a Medford and an Olight to give away on Facebook. Now it's very important. You have to be like. You have to like our page on Facebook for this. Um, and there will be some more instructions. But this is to tease what's to come because we're trying to get our Facebook back, and the only way we can really reach you is through our stories. So yeah, guys, help us out and. Um, we, we, we're here Keep for your it. eye out for that on, on Facebook. That's going to be a Facebook-only giveaway. So head over to our Facebook page and stay tuned. We're going to post the video uh, across all platforms, but that giveaway, you're only going to be able to get to it, get to the giveaway and get points for the giveaway on Facebook. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be giving away that Medford and Olight to a lucky, lucky winner. 
All right, well, thank you for watching. I'm TCB, and this is... And I'm Isaac Ward. And uh, we will see you next time on that... Knife Show! Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Um, thank you. I love the smell of it. Good strawberry. A good knife. What's the name of that QSB? Send the correction in on. We're going camping. Wait, we can't say that.